Hey guys, welcome back. David Deke here from the Get A Clue Marketing Show. And in our Q&A session today, we're going to be talking about what are the 2021 marketing trends that are happening right now and what are going to happen with small businesses and corporations. Plus, I'm going to show you some other marketing tactics that will help you in this year so that you can make uh, more sales and make more conversions, okay? So anyway, check it out on this episode. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, welcome back. David Deke here, The Other Clue Marketing Show. Um, today we're talking about, you know, what are the 2021 marketing trends uh, that are happening right now and what do you plan on doing uh, with your business for marketing okay so first of all i went did some research went over to forbes.com found this article 15 trends that are expected to drive small businesses in 2021 okay they talk about covid and stuff these are the uh, contributor contributors i know a, a few of these people but let's just go through it real quick and see where you uh, see where you align with these trends. Okay, Vis visible uh, digital footprints. Okay, it's an excellent uh, digital footprint. It's basically having a, a presence online. You know, branding that's going to help uh, when competing with new projects and contracts, etc. Okay, agility. Agility is uh, all about. You know, taking uh, what you're doing and being able to shift really quick. I've had to do that over the years, owning businesses. I had to, you know, drop uh, one business because it was just uh, drying up. And then you had to quickly, um, you know, be agile enough to go after a different industry. Okay. And that's what one of the things I did uh, in the cable business and then going into the cleaning business. All right, so you have to be able to shift uh, pretty quick. Number three, virtual e efficiency and productivity experts, okay? Basically, you need people that are efficient and they are very productive online. And I believe this either has to do with um, advertising and social media. Now, let's see what they say. During a pandemic, every business has faced forced digitizing um, virtualizing and dematerializing, okay, whatever. But there's huge opportunities in those uh, effects. I like Mike Keenings. Uh, you can definitely check him out. He was part of the Traffic Geyser back in uh, early 2000s. Okay, so virtual efficiency productivity experts. You can probably hire those people because you don't want to do it yourself. It's real tedious. Just like the SEO, um, SEO stuff is real tedious. Uh, but if you're a writer, you're, you're able to pick that up. Okay, so let's just keep going. Uh, talent problems. Small business will continue to battle talent problems. Now, this is something where uh, when you hire on uh, Upwork or Freelancer.com or Fiverr, you don't know how good these people are going to uh, perform the services that you need okay uh that is you know talent um and getting behind your uh your vision and what you want are it's it's hard to come by okay anybody could sit down and do certain tasks but if they understand what your goals are and what you want to do you're going to get there a lot faster so that is a, a an issue of hiring contractors all right, pre-meeting packs, okay? Somebody chimed in to say, oh, you know, I guess if you're in the food business, I don't know, you can pack a a, uh, a food pack package for meetings for the board members and other people on the online meeting, okay? That's kind of weird. I don't know why that's a trend. Workplace culture, okay? It's a trend for leaders to optimize and capitalize and maximize. A lot of this, you know, I got to tell you, it's corporate speak. You know, you, you know how you have legal speak and they have all these big terms like in articles of uh, impeachment, for example, and you can't understand what the actual uh, impeachment is about. You know, those type of things. It's called legal ease. Well, this is corporate ease. Okay. 
That's why I like to just read the headlines. <laughs> Tells you up close and personal. All right, so uh, customer reviews is going to be trending. Clarity, you got to uh, be able to clear about what your message is. Um, absolutely clear whether a meeting or training is going to be paramount. We are tired of being on virtual meetings that waste our time, leaving us frustrated, overwhelmed before the meeting, collaborate a clear agenda. I could, I could see that, you know, especially Zoom calls, people are just falling asleep and they're not getting to the point because they feel that their position has to fill up that time of two hours so they fill it up with whatever okay creative joint ventures if you don't want to get into a partnership this is similar to a, um, a partnership because you're working on the overall goal is sales and subscribers so and both of you can share that and both of you contribute something different than the other person and it's for a uh, selected amount of time okay it could be you know 30 days 90 days a year five years whatever all right as long as it's going good you continue it but you don't have to be uh, partners necessarily in that um, in your business you can have both separate businesses it's a great model local community networking that means going out into in the community chamber of commerce uh, then you got e-commerce you definitely want to set up your own um shopping cart and a way to uh, get people from your website to the shopping cart data driven digital strategies okay this is looking at your numbers whether it's ads leads conversions coming in uh technical uh, technological disruption this is where people for me when i first read this without reading the paragraph to me that means people that are uh not competent to follow along software and doing different tasks online that are needed to do that um, for people to get a clue on uh, what their uh, message is okay it's affecting what do they say this is particularly true for small business increasing interconnection virtual world be competing not only with big players in the market but also small businesses okay the good thing about um, you know overcoming this technological disruption is it's a le level playing field. Once you're online and you're on the marketplace, the world is your marketplace, and you level the playing field. A lot of people go with smaller businesses because they're they're more customized to your needs or your their needs. Okay. Online uh, unique online courses. Okay, I've got plenty of different uh, courses. You can check it out in the get a clue classroom I just finished up a new uh, revised video pro uh, creator course you, you could definitely check that out but um, unique online courses this is definitely the way to go uh, to get the people that you're hiring or the people that you want work done you can uh, point them to an online course to show them how to do it and you don't have to even um, you know create that all right but a lot of people, this would be good for inter, inner, uh, what would you call that? The inner circle in your company. You have somebody, uh, like in the marketing department, do online courses. Or uh, in the technical department, how to do things, okay? And then they have to watch the course, okay? And then 15, again, we're talking about 15 trends that are happening in 2021. 15. Uh, investments in infrastructure and uh, customer engagement okay let's see next year pay dividends to small businesses who invest wisely in themselves and their customers okay a lot of this has to do with social media you know when you're reaching out to somebody for uh, customer engagement you can do contests you can do polls like what we're doing here at the uh, get a clue marketing show because we want to make uh, marketing fun and, you know, creative, using create, creative ways to uh, do the tactics, okay? So those are the uh, 15 trends from Forbes from different people on what they see is happening, okay? So let's go on into our facts and stats and let's talk about uh, some other percentages 
from other surveys. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so we're back in our facts and stats. I wanted to show you some uh, stats on marketing, market trends, growth insights from Fortune 500 leaders in 2021. CMO, Chief Marketing Officers, okay? So they took a, a, na nationwide, um, a nationwide survey, okay, the CMO's challenging, changing role, okay, top five uh, companies will look for marketers in 2021, strategy, development, sales, marketing alignment, there's some more corporate speak. Uh, brand strategy and tactics, content creation, management. Okay, those are the things that they're going to be looking for. All right. And I'm going to tell you, marketers are hard to find. You know why? Because the majority of the population uh, did not go to school for marketing. They went to school for um, just liberal arts, uh, history, psychology, um, who knows, physical ed. But they didn't uh, study marketing. So they're hard to find. And, um, and when you find somebody, it really, really helps you out. Okay, so the top five things expected to manage, okay? Company growth, account-based strategies, sales funnels, digital technology, and customer engagement, okay? So they have to set up these goals for growth uh, for their company, etc. Okay, 65.7% CMOs think unlikely or very unlikely that businesses will bring more marketing, marketing agency work into in-house. Okay, so what this tells me is 65, basically 66% uh, think that they're not very unlikely that businesses are going to bring marketing agencies work that type of work in in-house okay so that basically means if you're a freelancer the uh the market is there okay to do uh, marketing agency work what is that marketing agency work would be um getting customer engagements coming up with strategies okay growth strategies like a a contest a giveaway a poll all right to get customer engagements and to get them over to the site. And they plan on uh, subbing this out, okay? And with it, in today's wages, everything is sold, subbed out. Who wants to pay $15 an hour for minimum wage? Okay, digital uh, advertising is expected to increase 94%. Okay, digital advertising, let's go through this slow, is expected to increase almost a hundred percent 94 percent okay that means mobile desktop tablet advertising across the board okay 78.5 percent see difficulty in staying ahead of technology again this is where the apps come into play and they don't know how to use the apps you know if you're one of those people and you want to do that because you can uh, you know how the basics of apps work, and you can show other people how to do that um, and do a course on that. They, these guys are looking for help, okay? Almost 80% of CMOs are looking for help because they need to stay ahead of the technological advancements, okay? So the top five sectors, healthcare, retail, entertainment, financial services, travel, and hospitality. Which is interesting because travel and hospitality, I would think that got knocked out during COVID, okay? All right, here's what you guys are looking to do this year, all right? Five digital content tactics. Blogging, video, case studies, e-newsletters, webinars, and online events, okay? Again, uh, if you want to grow your business, you have to have something to offer in all of these. All right. So if you're doing blogging, have some affiliate links, have some um, something that you can generate uh, revenue from. Have a membership site, 
etc. Videos are going to promote those uh, products that you have. Case studies will help bring in uh, more leads and give out the case study for free. All right. Same thing with the e -new newsletters. You can tell them uh, what's trending, what's coming up in your industry, and then highlight some uh, articles with some affiliate links in there uh, to generate income. Okay. Webinars and events. If you have a special app or you want to uh, demonstrate an app. Now, I've seen this uh, before, and this actually goes into our uh, do it yourself section. Okay. But uh, before we get there, I want to talk about webinars and online events. You can uh, explain a, an app location or software to people and go through the whole thing. And then at the end, you can sell that uh, software for whatever price it is. And then you can do, um, you know, upsells later, you know, like consulting, coaching, and things like that, okay? But webinars are a big thing. Online events are a big thing, especially now. Everybody's locked in, okay? So those are the tactics that you want to do. Of course, you know, this would be in my do-it-yourself section. All right, let's keep going. The top five spending priorities for companies. And we're going to mix in small businesses with this as well, okay? Organic search, content marketing, which is articles, um, email marketing, paid search, social media, okay? That basically wraps up the whole um, point of contact in those five uh, segments, okay? So depending on, you know, how you want to do it, um, in fact, let's talk about all that in our do-it-yourself section. Stay tuned for that. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, you know, in our do-it-yourself section, we were going through all these uh, different tactics that people are going to do, okay? Now, I'm laying this out to you uh, from globenewswire.com. I'll send that in the book market segment that you can go here, okay? But here are the things that you need to be focused on. Any one of these. It doesn't have to be all of them. It, these are just suggestions of the top five uh, tactics that CMOs in uh, 2021 are going to use, okay? You could just focus on one thing for the whole year and just master it, and you'll be in good shape, okay? The top five spending priorities for companies. We talked about this in our previous segment, but search, content marketing, which is basically search, search and sharing, email marketing, paid search, and social media. Now, you know, like I said, this basically captures all the marketing touch points online. You know, you have search, content, etc. The biggest thing is social media, and a lot of uh, CMOs, they don't have time for that. Um, they either have somebody in-house to do their social media, or they sub it out. And you have seen that, you know, up in those... Um, those statistics that they're going to uh, to sum it here, out. doing e email marketing. If you guys can come up with your own products uh, to do that, you know, you can do organic search uh, by hand, uh, manually type in people's uh, information, and you can make money at that, okay? Um, if you want to know more about that, you can go over to uh, fiverr.com, type in, organic search, find out how much people are paying for that. They're paying anywhere from $5 all the way up to, you know, a 1200 hour campaign for organic search to do SEO. So if you're a freelancer and you're looking for work, I would definitely focus on these, uh, these type of things here that you can create yourself. Okay. Email marketing, set up an email funnel for people and sell that as a package. Okay. So that's it for the do it yourself. I mean, you've got, if, you, if you're a writer, you can write uh, for bloggers. Um, you can be a guest blogger. You can do videos. You can gather up research for case studies and you can sell them. You can actually buy somebody. Let me, let's go over to Fiverr. Let me show you some, all right? So let's look at the price ranges. I'll be your social marketing manager and content creator. 
$45, $190, $200. And they're getting it because they are uh, their top sellers. So this is, uh, this is pretty good. And you want somebody um, to handle your stuff that you can trust, okay? You look at the reviews, find out how much they're charging, how much content, how much platforms are they going to do for 60 25 or $200, okay? And basically, the higher it is, and it's really just one post a day, okay? It could be a picture with some graphics, uh, you know, with some text on it, some caption, and that's a, a social media uh, content marketing, okay? What was the other thing? I wanted to say research. So let's uh, look up research. This is all part of our do-it-yourself section because I want people, um, you know, if you can save the money and do it yourself, you're, you're on your way, okay? So case study assignment research, $5. Case study proposal research, $10. All right? So you can have one of these people set up a case study for you, and you can use that as a lead uh, generator uh, for your website, okay? Get this case study on, you know, CMOs like, <laughs> like these guys did, all right? Put that all together into a PDF and give it away uh, after the person signs up for it, all right? It's that simple, and it may cost you like 5 to $10. All right, so that's our do-it-yourself section, and uh, next is our tip of the week. Okay, guys, here's the tip of the week. Don't do something overwhelming that's going to make you lose your stuff, okay? I can tell you firsthand, you know, getting to know software getting to know, um, you know, how to implement that in my marketing plan and all these different factors coming on and deadlines. Don't do something that's going to make you lose your stuff, okay? Because um, that's very frustrating and it's going to bog you down. So sub out your things that you don't want to do, you know, like SEO uh, content and creating a product or whatever it is. Have somebody else do it if you get too overwhelmed with it, all right? So, okay guys, that wraps up this episode of the Get A Clue Marketing Show. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching. And if you have any questions, um, you can check out the getacluemarketingshow.com uh, for some answers, okay? So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you on the other side.